Hello, guys. Good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Hello. So nice to see you again, guys. Another day, something new to learn today. I hope every one of you is doing okay. Uh, well, uh, let's see. I can see some of you here are connected. Some others probably are going to connect throughout the session. Um, as usual, guys, I am going to ask questions regarding to the previous topic. So yesterday we saw pretty much vocabulary, right? That's what we saw, vocabulary about clothes. That's what we saw. So today I am going to check what you remember about it. Okay, just for me to check. So can someone tell me, how do we say um, corbata? How do we say that? Tie. Tie, correct. Thank you very much. Julio, uh, how do we say traje for men, para hombres, traje? How do we say that? Suit. We say suit, remember? Felix is not sweet because if you say okay, short, that's, short. that's gonna be for for hotels. Suit. Okay, suit. Okay. okay, now can someone tell me how do we say falda? Skirt. Correct. Skirt. Thank you very much. Now that's any one of you remember how do we say um Let's see, what's the name of this? Bufanda, how do we say that? Bag. Scarf, Thank you very much. Yeah. And let's see, what is the plural form of scarf? What is la forma plural de um, scarf? Alguien recuerda? Scarf? Hmm. It's pretty much something there. You're still missing something. Oh. Alguien recuerda? Scarf. What is oh. the little form? Scarves. Scarves, correct. Oh. Thank you, Jessica. Oh. Thank you very much. So let me just write it on the chat. You don't remember scarves. Let's see. Like that. Scarves. Now, let's see. Um, what we're going to do right now is to verify if you remember how do we say bolsa. For example, let's suppose or let's imagine. Vamos a imaginar que esta camisa que yo ando es una bolsa. How do we say that in English? Pocket. Pocket, correct. Thank you very much, Jessica. I can listen to someone there, I don't know. Se podía escuchar que alguien está escuchando un audio. I really don't know. So, okay. Anyway. All right. So let's move on then. Let's see. Uh, Jorge Luis. Yes. How are you, Jorge Luis? Um, I'm fine. Okay. That's good. Now, Jorge Luis, can you please tell me how a... Uh, Abrigo, how do we say that? Abrigo, um, sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, okay, that's... Um, sweater. That's sweatshirt or sweater, eso es un suéter. Shirt or sweater. But, thank you. Uh, let's see, Patricia Campos, how do we say abrigo, Patricia? Hi, teacher. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, okay, no problem. Let's see. How do we say Julio? How do we say guantes? Guantes. 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 Guantes
Glow. Glow. Correct. Glow. Let's see, uh, Jansi. Say hello. Yeah. How do we say traje de baño? Jansi, are you there? Well, she's probably not there today. Juan Peñate, how do we say that? Traje de baño, how do we say? Um, bikini. Uh, bikini is not a is not the same thing. I mean, bikini, it's a bikini. Uh, but traje de baño, that's something different. Yeah. Girls? Yes, teacher. How do we say that? Swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Remember, no sweet. Swim suit. Sorry. Swim suit. Oh, okay. No problem, Jan C. It's okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. All right. So I can see that some of you, puedo ver que algunos sí estudian, vea otros ahí como que entre sí y tres no. Pero aquí podemos observar bien quién sí y quién no. So thank you so much for the ones that are always participating. Los que siempre participan. Gracias por siempre participar. Eso se toma en consideración para sus notas finales. Okay. So thank you very much for that. Now, uh, for today's class, guys, we are going to see something different. Uh, well, uh, before we start with today's class, I wanted to ask you, do you guys uh, have any problem with the platform or any exercise that you are not understanding at this point? Or is everything clear with the platform? I mean, section number four, is everything okay? Yeah, it's that teacher. Okay. All right, so what about the others? Que de los demás, any problem? that you're having with uh, section number four on the platform? No, teacher. No, okay. So everyone is doing okay, I guess. Estamos trabajando, teacher. All right, all right, that's good. Okay. All right, so, uh, well, so we're gonna start with today's class, guys. Today, we're gonna try to study colors. El día de ahora vamos a aprender nuevamente más vocabulario, but today we're gonna focus on colors, okay? A different variety of colors that we have in the English language. So um, let me just go ahead and present or show you the presentation that we have for today. And this is it. So this is the one that we have for today, colors vocabulary. So today, as you can see, we're going to also have um, vocabulary about colors. Another, another theme, guys. Desde ya les digo, listos para el día viernes que vamos a tener práctica de todos los temas que hemos visto o que vamos a ver hasta el día de mañana. So on Friday, el viernes, tenemos, vamos a tener práctica de todos esos temas. This practice is only for you as it, as it says, como dices, práctica. ¿Por qué? Para aquellos que todavía andan entre que quieren y no quieren con los temas anteriores, this is going to help you to remember some things. Practice means, práctica también significa que le voy a preguntar para ver si usted se recuerda de temas anteriores. ¿Ok? Because I guess... At this, mo uh, this moment, there's no questions. Supongo que hasta este momento nadie tiene preguntas de los temas anteriores, puesto que nadie hace preguntas. So I'm guessing everything is okay. So for Friday, we are having a practice. Remember that. Recuérdense eso. So please do not miss. No hay que faltar. Y si falta, please let me know. Because remember, this is the only week. Solamente esta semana vamos a tener clases on Friday. Why? Because we didn't have classes on Thursday uh, last week due to Independence Day. All right. So we're going to try to cover 
the material that we have for that day on Friday. So that's why we're gonna have classes on Friday. So any questions about the practice that we're going to do or are the instructions clear? Las instrucciones están claras? Yes. 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 Uh, teacher. So yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Es, um, desde la clase número uno es el repaso. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yo le escribí, uh, me parece que el lunes, para ver si me compartía las otras presentaciones. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my bad. I will try to send it to you tomorrow. Because um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult because I have the presentations on the laptop. And I, then I have to move the presentations from my laptop to my phone in order to send that through WhatsApp. So I will try to do it this day tonight or the latest tomorrow morning. But in case I forget, please send me another message, please. Because sometimes I have a lot of things to do. Tengo muchas cosas que hacer and I okay. forget it. So please let me know. But thank you for... Pero se pueden ver en, en YouTube, verdad, jefe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can go ahead and check them on YouTube or you have the channel, the YouTube channel, so you can verify also the, you know, the, the class recorder. Uh, it, all classes are recorded there, so you just click on the link they send you through email, and then you can be able to watch all the classes and listen to everything. So everything is going to be there. So, um... Let's go ahead and try to start with colors. So here we have, in English guys, as in, in any other language, we have primary colors of light in all the languages. In todos los idiomas siempre van a existir primary colors. It doesn't matter if you speak French, it doesn't matter if you speak Spanish, it doesn't matter if you speak English, Italian, German, whatever. It doesn't matter the language you speak, Colors are going to have always a primary colors light. So we're going to start with this part. It's okay, it's okay, Elena. Thank you for letting me know. Now, as you can see, the primary colors, guys, are going to be the color red, which means rojo, as you can see here, blue, which is azul, and green, which is verde. Yes, those are pretty Pretty known. La mayoría de ustedes los conocen. So keep this in mind. Those are the three colors or the primary colors that we have in all languages. Now, it says here that when the three primary colors of light are blended, que significa cuando eso se unen, they make white light. Cuando todos estos se unen, the primary color they can create another colors. That's pretty obvious. And the majority of us already know that. Now, um, si estoy hablando demasiado rápido, chicos, or you don't understand something, háganos saber, okay? So I will try to slow down. Porque ya estamos en semana tres, voy a tratar de hablar more English and less Spanish. Just in case that you really, really do not understand, you let me know. And I will try to switch to Spanglish, but I will try to do it most of the time in English so you can be used to that. Tenemos ya que empezar a, you know, to get used to, acostumbrarnos. Uh, so let's, let's move on with the next part. Now, uh, Jessica, I would like your help to help me reading the first line, if you don't mind. Go ahead, please. Um, se lo leo. Yeah, just read it. Even though it's not correct, just read it and then read it again so you can listen to the correct pronunciation. Okay. Uh, but words mm -hmm. mean the same thing and it's feeling mm -hmm. depend on the country where the word is written. Okay, thank you very much. Now, remember, guys, hay que recordar, la TH hace que sonido. Z. Z. So, siempre Z. Z. So, we say here, both, both words 
mean the same thing. And its spelling depends on the country where the word is written. What does it mean? Significa que ambas palabras significan lo mismo y su deletreo cambia dependiendo el país. What's, that's the question that we have here. What's the difference between color and color? La única diferencia que tenemos acá, chicos, es que en Inglaterra se escribe de una forma y en Estados Unidos se escribe de otra forma. Recuérdense, in English we have British accent, acento británico, and American accent, acento americano. So that's going to be only the difference. Here, solamente va a cambiar en el spelling y la pronunciación que va a ser un poquito diferente. But that's why we have two differences here. Why am I telling you this? ¿Por qué les digo esto? Because it's necessary that you know both differences. Es necesario que sepan ambas diferencias. So, uh, let me see. Patricia, can you please go ahead and help me reading the second line? Okay. The word color is used in United States. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, um, Julio, can you please go ahead and do the third line? The word colors is used in the rest of the English speaking countries, England, Australia, and MC. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's okay. It's okay. Now, uh, let's see who else. Wilfredo, go ahead, Wilfredo, with the four line. The the man is of most kind of color English up in this sky well barrel. Okay. Now <laughs> let, let me read it. Line number two, it says the word color it's used used in the United States. In Estados Unidos utilizan este. C-O-L-O-R, color. Y la pronunciación es diferente. The word color, color, that's the way they pronounce it, is used in the rest of speaking, of English speaking countries. Es lo que significa que este spelling es utilizado en otros países que no sean Estados Unidos. For example, otros países que hablen inglés, like we have England, Inglaterra, Australia, Australia, New Zealand, Nueva Zelanda. We have also Canada. We have some other countries. That's why we have etc. there. So what, what you can see here is that the pronunciation changes and the spelling changes. El deletreo cambia. Color, color. Color, color. So in American English or in el inglés de Estados Unidos, hay veces es un poquito más exagerado, the pronunciation of the letter R. Because here, it's color, we made the R, and this is color, we don't even pronounce the letter R, ni siquiera pronunciamos la letra R. So those are the two differences that we have, guys. Esas son las dos diferencias, and here we can see. Uh, for example, la pregunta que vamos a hacer para querer saber el color es, what color is it? In nuestro caso que estamos aprendiendo inglés americano, we're going to use this pronunciation, esta pronunciación, color. So, pero en algún caso, de repente usted se encuentre a un, alguien de Inglaterra, London, Australia, we are going to pronounce that color, which is going to be the same word. Now, questions so far, preguntas. Is it clear? Creo que como la, en unas palabras anteriores, sí importa que sea la pronunciación, eh, como usted lo dice, en Estados Unidos. Eh, I mean, not really. For example, um, alguien de Inglaterra, for example, someone from England, if you say color, la persona le va a entender. 
y automáticamente la persona de Inglaterra va a decir, ah, tú eres de Estados Unidos. Why? Porque usted está pronunciando, sí. en vez de decir cola, usted está diciendo color. So, oh. no, I mean, es, es, son como caliches. Caliches que incluso tenemos nosotros en español. Que en un lugar del país le llaman de una cosa y en otro lugar del país es otro. And we have some clear examples. Ejemplos muy claros, por ejemplo, en San Salvador, en algunas cosas, uh, baila, es un plato chiquitito, ¿no? Baila. En otras partes del Salvador como Oriente, baila es un guacal enorme. So, so that's, those are differences. Son diferencias que hay en español. So the same happens in English. Lo mismo pasa en inglés. So it's, it's understandable. I mean, ellos siempre van a entender why because they all speak the same language. Ellos hablan el mismo idioma with some small differences in pronunciation. That's it. Okay. So the question yes. we're going to ask, la pregunta que vamos a hacer para saber el color es what color is it? What color is it? ¿Qué color es? What color is it? That's the question. So keep it in mind. Now, uh, these are some other differences that we have, but these differences, guys, are only in spelling. Esta diferencia son, son únicamente in spelling. For example, in United States, para decir gris, lo van a escribir gray, con A, gray, G-R-A-Y. And in the other countries, they are going to write it gray with E, G-R-E-Y. So that's going to be the only difference. In pronunciation, pronunciation is going to be the same. Here, pronunciation doesn't change. Only the spelling. Okay? Now, um, there's only, as it's here, there are three ways that you can use a color in a sentence to describe something. Hay tres formas de utilizar un color. For example, the verb be plus the color. Después del verbo to be, un color. Example, my car is blue. There be color. Or we can say color plus noun. The blue car is mine. We have blue first and then we have the noun. Or we can use the color as the noun. Blue is the color of my car. In este caso, el color azul está siendo utilizado como noun. So, um, Here we have, guys, some other examples of some basic colors or los colores más conocidos like in the English language. Now, what we're going to do is that we are just going to focus on the pronunciation. For example, this one right here. Estamos acostumbrados a decir, a decir yellow. No es yellow. Esta Y se pronuncia como I. I -E. Yellow. Yellow. yellow, okay, yellow. not yellow, please do not say that, it's yellow, yeah. then yellow. we said red, yeah. purple, green, brown, and black, brown. Black. once again, yellow, red, purple, yeah. green, green, brown, black, black. black. Now, let's see, Didana, can you please go ahead and make the pronunciation of those? Yes. Go ahead, yellow. please. Uh -huh. Red. Okay. Purple. We say that one, purple. 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 Uh, green. Green, okay. Brown. Brown. Black. Black. Thank you very much. Now let's go with uh, Francisco. Francisco Martinez. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Red. Mm -hmm. Purple. Okay. Green. Okay. Brown. Okay. Black. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you very much. Feliz. Felix, go ahead, Felix. Yeah, teacher. Uh, yellow. Excellent. Red, okay. Purple. Purple. Green. Okay. 
brown, mm -hmm. black. Excellent. Thank you very much, Felix. Now, uh, let's see Beatriz. Beatriz? Yellow, okay. red, purple, green, mm -hmm. okay. brown, and black. Thank you. So now let's move on to some others. In here, we're going to have a list. Aquí vamos a tener una lista de colors que no son muy conocidos. And here we have the translation. So uh, we're just going to do the pronunciation in English. Y aquí pueden ustedes ir viendo the translation. Okay, so don't, I mean, we're going to just practice the pronunciation though. So beige. Este color lo tenemos incluso en español. Lo hemos adaptado mucho y lo decimos de igual manera. So beige is beige. Beige, black, blue. Repítalo usted allí en su casa, ¿verdad? So brown, chestnut, chestnut, fucsia. Fucsia no es fucsia, ¿verdad? Fucsia es in Spanish, but in English would say fucsia. Golden, green, gray. Aquí ya vimos la diferencia, ¿verdad? UK and Estados Unidos, but the pronunciation is still the same. Gray, maroon, orange, pink, purple, red, scarlet, silver, teal, transparent, Turquoise, turquoise, violet, violet, and white. Now, uh, teacher, si repite eh, transparente, si le da ahí poco, no le escuché bien. Yeah, we we'll say transparent. Transparent, okay. Transparent. Okay, now, can I have a volunteer? Voluntario para ayudarme a leer cinco. Let's five. The teacher. You? Rebecca, go yes. ahead, please. Let's start with you, Rebecca. Beige, black, blue, brown, and chestnut. Correct. Chestnut. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, can I have another person? Fuxia. Okay. Golden. Okay. Green. Okay. Gray. Okay. Maroon. Okay. Orange. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, can I have another person? Pink. Okay. Purple. Okay. Red. Okay. Scarlet. Okay. Oh, I don't remember. Silver, silver, say silver. Thank you very much, Elena. Now, can I have the last person? Una persona más. Teal. Teal, okay. Transparent. Excellent. Turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah, I know, I know it sounds weird. Yo sé que a veces suena raro, Cuando pronunciamos algunos, porque estamos acostumbrados a nuestro idioma natal, turquesa, turquesa. But that's good, turquoise, okay? Violet and okay. white. 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 All right. White. So thank you very much for the ones that participated. Gracias a los que siempre participan. Elena, we had Elena, Julio, Beatriz. We also had Felix and... Who else? Who else? Oh, Rebecca. Yes, got it. Okay, thank you. Now, we're going to move on here with this part. And here we have, guys. This one's the light is opposite of dark. For example, como decimos celeste, we say light blue. We say blue. Es azul, normal, and dark blue. Dark blue es como el azul eh, fuerte, like, I don't know how to say it. Eh, le llamamos azul something. I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but it's el azul fuerte. 
Como azul negro. Azul, azul negro. oscuro. Yeah, that's, azul oscuro. yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, with the green, con el color verde, también would make some differences. For example, if we want to say uh, verde claro, that we call it in, in Spanish, it will be light green. El verde normal, like standard, we say green. Y el verde oscuro, dark green. So those are going to be some differences that we have. Now, let's pay attention to the pronunciation of these other ones that we have right here. And this one we have, for example, we have coal black, coal black, jet black, yet black, pitch back black, I'm sorry, pitch black, baby blue, esta es otra forma también de llamarle al celeste, baby blue, también le podemos decir sky blue. Tenemos esas, esas formas de llamarle el mismo color celeste. Sky blue, deep blue, navy blue, royal blue, bottle green, emerald green, grass green, jade green, lime green, olive green, Blood red, brick red, cherry red, dusky red, lily white, off white, snow white, canary yellow, canary yellow. Okay, now can I have volunteers? Uh, yo. Hi, teacher. Jessica, go ahead, Jessica. Cool black. Jet black. Peach black. Baby blue. Mm -hmm. Sky blue. Okay. Deep blue. Okay, thank you very much, Jessica. Can I have another person? Yes, teacher. Who are you? Felix. Felix, go ahead, Felix. Nay blue. Mm -hmm. Oreo blue. Okay. Bottle green. Okay. Emerald green. Okay. Grass green. And the last one. Head green. Jade. J Jay Green. Green. Jay Green. Thank you very much, Felix. Can I have another person? Your teacher. Go ahead. Patricia. Patricia, go ahead. Lime Green. Mm -hmm. Olive Green. Olive. This is Olive. Olive Green. Mm -hmm. Blue Red. This is Blood. 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 Mm -hmm. Blood Red. Brick Red. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And can I have the last person? Dusty Red. Lily White. Who is reading? Uh, oh, Oscar. Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Oscar. Go ahead. Cherry Red. Dusty Red. Lily. Laila White, mm -hmm. off, off White, Snow White, e Canary Yellow. Canary Yellow. Thank you very much, Oscar. Now, uh, ¿quiénes fueron los que participaron? So, solo para tomar nota. Patricia, Oscar, Felix. Who else? ¿Quién más? I am teacher. Uh, Jessica, right? Jessica. Okay. So, okay. So, thank you very much, guys. I already got here my notes. All right. So now, questions so far, guys. Preguntas hasta el momento. I guess this is pretty easy, right? It's not too complicated. No es tan complicado. It's just a matter of learning them. 
I understand, entiendo que algunos de estos colores chicos no van a ser muy utilizados. For example, es decir, allá en una vez al tiempo probablemente escuchen el color verde esmeralda, emerald green. So those colors are not very, very used or negro carbón. Those are uh, colors that not even in, in Spanish, we don't use them that much. But it's also necessary that you will probably, you know, understand how to pronounce them, understand how to use them, and so on. Now, do you guys have any questions so far, or is everything clear till now? Teacher, yes, en, el caso, en el caso de, de deep, es este, no es profundo. Deep? Sí, la palabra deep por sí sola es profundo. But in this case, okay. lo ponemos junto al, 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 a la palabra su, eh, se toma en el sentido no literal, sino en el sentido, eh, how do we say this? Um, eh, how do I say this in Spanish? Pero no es, no es como el sentido literal de la palabra, pero sí. Por ejemplo... Si uniéramos este Deep Sherry, por ejemplo, eh, en la empresa manejamos un color así. Uh -huh. este, lo manejamos como cereza profundo, pero el Deep lo manejamos como, siempre lo hemos manejado como profundo. I mean, Ajá, I, mean, I mean, that's the meaning of the word. Ese es el significado de la palabra. Deep es profundo. Sí, la ah, palabra okay. Deep significa profundo, pero cuando lo, lo unimos a un color, deja de ser profundo y, se, y se, ya no se toma en el sentido literal de la palabra, sino que es como que se, se um, I don't know how to say the word, no sé cómo decirles la palabra, pero es como que se maneja o se cambia a un sentido intenso. Ya no significa oh. eh, profundo. Cuando oh. únicamente, only, cuando lo unimos con un color. La palabra oh, okay. siempre va a significar profundo. By itself, por ella sola. Oh, ok, gracias. Eh, yo había escuchado que el pitch era como un color melocotón. No sé si estoy equivocado. Uh, melocotón, ok, yes. Let me, lo que tú estás diciendo es este color. Just let me write it here. Que es pitch. Esta, a este tipo de pronunciaciones nosotros le llamamos homófonas. Que quiere decir que yo la okay. igual, pero la escribo diferente. Porque este pitch se pronuncia igual que este pitch. Pero este pitch sí es durazno. Y este pitch ya no es durazno. Ok, thank you. So let's see another question. Alguien más que tenga otra duda, pregunte, no se quede con la duda. No. So como dicen ahí, silence says more than thousand words. El silencio dice más que mil palabras, so I'm going to move on. So um, here we have practice, guys. Today is not that much. El día de hoy necesito que esta práctica, sí, debido al tiempo que tenemos 20 minutos, la vamos a hacer en dos. Es decir, dos personas primero y la primera conversación, dos personas, la siguiente conversación. Si hay seis en el grupo, if there's six in the group, volvemos a, a hacer la primera and then so on. So, do we understand? ¿Estamos claros? Pronunciation. What, we're, what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to read the pronunciation. So you pay attention and then you pronounce it. Oh, Oscar, what are you doing, Oscar? I can see that you're... Perdón. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Cuando estamos utilizando la pantalla, something that happens. So let me just go ahead and make the pronunciation. Example. My mom's here. That's not your mom. Yes, it is. But she's white and you're black. So she can't be your mom. Missy says, you can't be my mom because you're white and I'm black. We do have different skin colors. 
Don Gui. Shana's dad has dark brown skin and I have white skin. When we had Shana, she was born with beautiful brown skin. I didn't know a white mom could have a brown baby. They sure can. Some families have many different skin colors. Missy, your skin is a beautiful light brown color too. What color skin do your parents have? We're black. Both my parents had white skin. It's pretty cool that there are so many different skin colors in the world and even in our own family. So I need you guys to take a screenshot of this part right now so I can move to number two. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Here we have number two. Now, let me make the pronunciation. Honey, can I ask you a couple of questions? It's for Tommy's homework. Sure. What color is the Russian flag? It's white, blue, and red. Right. What color is the South African flag? It's red, white, yellow, green, blue, and black. Okay. What color is the Ecuadorian flag? Red, blue, and yellow. Is that it? No. Just 10 more questions. What? It's midnight, honey. I have to work tomorrow. Good night. Now, did you take a screenshot of this part? Jess? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, here we have number three. And... Here we have number four. Okay, uh, lo que más me interesa, chicos, es que todos pronuncien, que todos participen en las conversaciones. If you do not have enough time, si no tienen suficiente tiempo para los ejercicios de unir, y este último, it's okay. We can work that tomorrow. Pero si sí necesito que todos empiecen a practicar y hablar. That's mandatory. Es mandatorio. Ok. So, la, la tercera imagen. No la ok. Uh, just, The colors. Colores. Okay, let me just check here. This one. Anterior. Anterior. The other? Ok. Esa. esa This esa. one? Ok. No. Los colores. Aquí acaba de poner. This one. Exacto. Thank you. All right. So just let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms. Please, guys, as I said, once again, it's necessary that every one of you participates, everyone. So let me just move this person here. Move this person here and move this other person here. So let's go. Go ahead, please.
a ayudar a, a teacher. Ahí está, teacher. Yes, I gave you, I gave you the permission already. So go ahead. Pero este es el primero. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Son cuatro. Eh, yo voy a hacer el nombre. That know your mom. <coughs> yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. But she's white and you're black, so she can't be your mom. Missy says you can't be my mom because you're white and I'm black. Hay otra persona iba, pero bueno. Eh, ah, es cierto, son tres. No sé quién quiere hacer. Chan. Eh, si sí, quieren Chan. compartir, ya está habilitado. It's already available. If you want to share screen, ok. Just say. Ok, teacher. Gracias. You need. When we had Sana, she was born with beautiful brown skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know a white mom who have a brother baby. They sure can. So families have, have many different skin colors. Missy, your skin is a beautiful light brown color too. What color skin do you Many different colors in the world and in our own family. Este, repetimos este o pasamos con el siguiente. ¿Qué dice? Next. Next. Yellow, eh, tenemos que eh, Amarillo. ver qué lápiz es. Ajá. Ver qué lápiz es. Ah, unirlo. Oh, sí, ok, el amarillo. Um, el green. Verde. Ok. El blue es el azul. El gray. Alguien que participa en sí. el gris, el gray es el gris. El gris. Sí. Gray es gris. 
Redes rojo. Gray es el, el primero, ¿verdad? De la derecha. Red. Sí, rojo. sí, el primero. Gray es el primero. Uh -huh. Brown. Brown es el café. El, min, el penúltimo de abajo. Sí, el penúltimo. El black es el, ajá, el negro. El purple es, es el, el morado. ¿verdad? Morado, ajá, el segundo. Orange, aquí enfrente. El último, ajá. Y white, ¿dónde está? Ya no lo veo. <risa> ya, lo, ya lo señaló. No, no, ya. Gran ah, tripachuca. Ahí está, ahí está, ya, sí, seis. perdón. Sí, 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 tiene razón. Gran tripachuca que se hizo. Sí. Vaya. Eh, pero sí, es que estos colores son como los más comunes. Ojo. Ojo. Perdón. Brown. Brown. Café, ¿verdad? Brown. Sí. Brown. Mm. Gray. 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 Ah, ahí está. Voy a tomar captura. No sé si ustedes también van a tomar. Sí, sí. Sí. Ya. Cherry red, pink, blue. Okay, did you guys finish the exercises? Did you complete them all? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Great. So we're just going to wait for the other ones to come back to the main session, and then we're going to have a practice. So I see that everyone is coming back. All right, so I see the majority is already here. Now, uh, let's see, Felix. Yes, teacher. Can you give me a number from one to 20? Tell me a number from one to 20. Uh, Tell uh, a number, a number from one to 20. Del uno al 20. <laughs> one, two, no. No, no, oh. just elige just un tell... número de luna. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 13. Which one? 13. 13, ok. 13. 13. Let me see. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Jorge Luis Castaneda, you're going to be number one. Vas a ser el número uno. Now, Jorge Luis, give me a number from 1 to 15. Um, 14. 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14. Juan Peñate, you're going to be number two. Now, Juan, give me a number from 1 to 14. 10. 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beatrice. Beatrice, you're going to be number three. So what are we going to do? I will need you guys to listen or to make the conversation number one. So just let me go ahead and share the presentation. And here we have. So Jorge Luis, you're going to be Shanna. Juan Peñate, you're going to be Missy. And 
uh, Beatrice, you're going to be Jane, okay? So let's go ahead, please. Okay. My mom's here. Mm -hmm. That's not your mom. Yes, it is. But she's white and you're black. So she can be your mom. Missy says, you can be my mom because you're white and I'm black. We do have different skin colors, don't we? Shana that has dark brown skin and I have white skin. When we had Shana, she was born white, with beautiful brown skin. I didn't know a white mom could have a brown baby. They sure can. Some families have many different skin colors. Missy, your skin is a beautiful light brown color too. What, what color skin do your parents have? We're black. But my parents have white skin. It is pretty cool that there are so many different skin color in the world and even in our own family. Okay, thank you very much, Jorge Luis, Beatriz, and Juan. That was a really nice pronunciation of yours. Excellent, I do appreciate that. Now, I just listened to some little details, Rebecca, yes? Teacher, eh, la... La última parte de la oración de Jane, en la última, mm -hmm. eh, dice uh, in our, y la otra palabra. Own. Own. Uh, no. Own. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. That's what I was going to say. Eh, pronunciaron bien la mayoría. You pronounce it very, very good. But there are some words, hay algunas palabritas, por ejemplo, esta. Escucho que por acá está otra vez. Where is it? Uh, no, here. This one. Escucho que me la están diciendo como can. Can, lo que ustedes están diciendo en vez de querer decir poder, me están diciendo lata. ¿Por qué? En inglés americano, lata, una botella, si, quiero, si yo quiero decir una lata de gaseosa. A can of soda. Esa es una can. Si yo quiero decir poder de puedo, yo puedo hacer algo. Por, por ejemplo, ellos seguro pueden. They sure can. Can. Esa es la diferencia. Si yo quiero decir lata, yo voy a decir can. Si yo quiero decir poder de yo puedo, del verbo es can. Se escriben igualito, idéntico. What, what's the difference? La pronunciación didana. Teacher, la A se pronuncia como E, ¿verdad? Can, yes, can. Sí, gracias. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, uh, esto solo sucede con el acento americano. ¿Por qué? Con el acento británico, ellos no hacen diferencia. Ellos quiere decir, uh -huh. ellos quieren decir, yo puedo, del verbo poder, ellos van a decir, I can. Y si ellos quieren decir, tengo una lata o lata de soda, can of soda. En el inglés británico no vamos a hacer diferencia, pero en el inglés americano, que es el que estamos aprendiendo acá, ahí sí. Así que, por favor, cuidado. La próxima vez, si usted dice can, yo le voy a entender lata y no le voy a entender poder. Lo mismo acá, que es negativo. No puedo. Can't. Can't. No es can't. No. Can't. So, let's... Esas son las únicas. Then, otra palabrita acá que es bien necesaria saberla cómo pronunciar es mundo. World. World. Hay que hacer el sonidito de la RL. ¿Por qué? Hay otras palabras que si usted dice word, significa palabra. O sea, 
¿Cuál es la diferencia? El, ese sonidito de la letra L entre world, mundo, y word, que es palabra. So we gotta pay attention to those things. Eh, vamos a empezar a poner atención en esas pequeñas cosas para no cometer errores al momento de pronunciar. So, uh, that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for the ones that participated. Por los que siempre están participando, como les dije, se toma eso en, en, en consideración, en nota para ver quiénes siempre participan. So thank you very much for the ones participating. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class today and see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Night, teacher.